Hello everybody, welcome back again to Breath of the Wild. So I'm at Gerudo Town, well, running away from Gerudo Town. Hopefully going to where this dot, oh, well, uh, that answered that question real qu freaking quick. Um, glad I can see those from far away. I didn't realize I could see them from that far away, that's cool. Well, that takes a lot of the mystery out of that, which means, actually, I want to get there. Oh, you know, I wonder... I wonder if you're supposed to use a sand seal. Oh, yep. I think that's exactly what you're supposed to do here. Uh, okay. Right, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's silently sneak up on one of these guys. Preferably behind them. Probably supposed to talk to her. I could probably buy one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to go buy one. Alright. Uh, Frelly asked me to go recruit some wild sand seals. Cool. The sand seals in town are all trained by Frelly. They're faster and they'll wait for you to return to them. By comparison, the ones outside who haven't been trained will just run off the moment you dismount. It's definitely worth renting a trained one. Frelly puts her heart into training them. Frelly st- <laughs> Can we use less of the proper name? Frelly trained the Sand Seals using the Sand Seal Race too, of course. The Sand Seal Races? I know what that is. I've done that. Uh, it's pretty simple. You use a Sand Seal to race around a course to see who's the fastest. Yeah, I've done that before. Just go to the southeast gate of the town and head to the right. You'll see the starting line immediately. No harm in taking a peek, right? So are they... Oh, that's my sand... Okay, I see what she's saying now. Alright, let's slowly sneak up on these guys. Alright, slow and steady. Slow and steady. And... Grab! Alright. Cool. So, hopefully, uh, this doesn't go too badly. One. Oh, boy, yeah, I'm glad I decided I wanted to use the sand seal, because it's actually required. Oh, well, I would have found out after the first one, so. Okay, this ain't good. Get out of here, electric dudes. You suck. You suck on good days, let alone bad days. Not that this is a bad day, but, you know. So hopefully this uh, upload schedule I've been using is working well. Uh, I have no idea at this point because it's still before I leave. Um, and honestly, I don't get enough views to make it hardly worthwhile anyway, but, you know. I gotta at least see. Because last I knew, my first video back got six views, and that was a Wednesday. And uh, then the next two, which was, I think, a Monday and a Wednesday or a Wednesday and a Friday have had no views, at least at when I looked. I'm pretty sure they had some views, but, um, yeah. Alright. Get out of the way, get out. Okay, we're home free. So, I hope that experiment bears fruit, because I'd like to figure out what the best day to upload is. Oh, oh, right. I was like, alright, let, now let's ride the Sand Seal all the way up to the Yiga Clan hideout, and I can run up there from there, but I forgot about the... I forgot about the shrine. I guess I could activate it and then take the Sand Seal up, but, um... Yeah, I think I'll just do the shrine. I'm here. Why not? Takama Shiri Shrine. Alright. Uh, this might have more electric stuff, because the desert's always usually electric stuff, right? Joy, my favorite. And dual purpose. Yeah, more electric stuff. Holy crap, those are big electrical... Oh, great. okay, I didn't want to fall down, but... These are big blocks. I was going to say, are you going to electrify at any point here? Uh, let's see. Oh, alright, so that went where I want it, wanted it to. Now the, whoop, now the question is... How do I get over there without shocking myself? Um, oh. Uh, do I have the rubber stuff? Shock resistance. Unshockable. 
Yes. I don't know how you're supposed to get across that without this. Okay, well. Whatever. I'll take it. Alright, so... Alright. Alright, can I make this jump? I can. I was gonna say, really? Like, just that tiny little bit made it so I couldn't go through. Alright, are there any chests? No, there's not. Whoa, I'm... <laughs> that was almost terrifyingly embarrassing. Not like the entire thing hasn't been embarrassing, but... Okay, um... Alright, so there's the steps up there. Alright, so that can go there. Oh. That can go there. That can go there. Really? That's not close enough? Move that ever so slowly. Alright, so that unlocks that. Alright, so that's the chest of the level. Or the shrine. That sounds like it did it. Alright, this one was a lot easier than the last one. But then again, I'm not quite done yet, so there could be something that's a lot harder. Royal Bell Bow. Oh, great. Okay, so what do my bows look like? Bows. Uh, 38 durability up. The other one was a durability up too, wasn't it? Um. Anyway, okay. That one was 38 durability. This one is... 38 durability plus. Um, well, I'll just go with this one then, I guess. It's practically the same one. Okay, now, the question then becomes, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? What? Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. I don't need this there anymore. So, that can go there. Can go up here. Um. Uh, I was going to say, can I run on that? I can't run on that. Pretty sure that's not gonna work. Oh, you know what will work though? I climb up, jump over here, then I move them back. Oh, what? I don't get it. I don't know why it's so precise. There's, those are huge freaking blocks. All right, well, uh, that last part gave us a little bit of trouble. Not nearly as much as the last shrine, but you know, whatever, we got it. This is number two. We're going good. We're, we're doing good. Ten minutes in, we've done the first, we've done one challenge in the in the one challenge shrine. Now we got to go to the Yiga Clan hideout for our third Naboris emblem. All right, got number two. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. Yes, I've done this once before. I get how it's done, and I'm probably gonna say I've done this twice before, and I've done this three times before. By the time the end of the ser the the ZLC's up. All right, get out of here. Okay, and uh, now it's freezing, but that's okay. Uh, let's see, what's the quickest way to get there? Um, hmm, probably this shrine. I'll go to this shrine and I'll meet you at the Yika Clan hideout. Okay, so the fact that it's like, oh yeah, that's clearly the Yika Clan and that's clearly the hole you drop a ball in makes it so I'm thinking the ball that you have to drop is hard to get. Um, and I don't remember these tiles around the hole before. Uh, okay, so we're here. Where is this hole, I want, or ball, I wonder? Um, oh, does it mean rolling a, um, snowball down the hill? Is that what this is about? 
I can imagine that being what that's about. Alright, let's go first check in the hideout, see what's in here. Uh, yeah, I wish you could go down there, but, you know, it's the one place it's like, you want to explore that hole, but they're, they won't let you. Oh, alright, people. What's up? You look mildly concerned. I hear the Yiga clan was taken out by a traveling swordsman, and yet, there's still an awful lot of round of, a lot of them, a lot of them, around. Yeah. They seem to be hoarding bananas, too. Maybe they're still up to no good. I know one thing's for sure. The orb they stole from the Gerudo tribe is in their second second floor storage area. Okay. But getting there is too dangerous. Staying alive is essential to getting a treasure hunt. To getting... Yeah, whatever. Good enough. You looking for treasure, too? Yes. Uh, yeah. Orb, they took it. It looks like it would sell for a high price. Yeah. And now you're too much of a coward to go get it. They're not planning to throw this... This, they're not planning to throw the sacred orb into that big gaping hole like the old legends say, right? Uh, they aren't, because they would have done it already. I, on the other, on the other hand, am. Alright. No, that was not to be taken out to be threatening. Ooh, bananas. Alright, so... Oh, good. Whoops. Nope. You don't see me. Alright, I want to get to that ladder. Alright. Don't look behind you. Don't look behind you. Whoop. No, no, no. You don't see me. You don't... Fuck! Goddamn fucking stuck on the thing. The joystick doesn't exactly... I swear the Switch joystick... Um, I swear the Switch joystick isn't completely accurate sometimes. Uh, I want different arrows. Let's use shock arrows. Whoops. Whoop. Ow. Alright. That guy's gone. Okay. Alright. Run, 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 run. I need up here. Okay. Up here. This is what I wanted. Well. Oh, fuck. I forgot those guys can teleport. Keep, just keep on keeping on. Oh, okay. I uh, think that's it. Oh, no, one more. I don't know where he's spawning. Okay. Out! Ding, ding. Alright. Okay. Second floor storage. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Well, all of them are taken out. Which means I should be free to just take the orb out now. Unless touching it spawns more in, which is probably a good, good assumption. Alright. So many nanners. So many bananas. I don't need them, but I'm going to take them anyway. Actually, it's probably a good thing I just killed them all, because I would not want to be trying stealthing around with this thing. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that probably worked out in my favor. There's probably one other thing that's going to pop out and kill me or something. I don't know. That's usually how these things go. Alright. I got it. Talk. Did you really go in there and nab the orb? Yep, I stole it. Yep. If they find out, they'll surely chase you down until the end of time. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Too bad they're all dead. Sup? The orb. Is that the treasure of the Gerudo? Yep. That is so not fair. We found it first. Hey, you know... Fucking hell. I just want to pick up the goddamn... No! No! And I can't even move it now. 
All right. God damn, that's so dumb. Anyway, yep. Yeah, you, you didn't want us to throw in the hole? Well, we're kind of going to throw it in the hole. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Cool. I was half expecting to hear the Yiga Clan Master or whatever yelling again. Say, like, hey, an orb! Another orb! Whatever happened to him? Did he just die at the bottom of the hill? At the bottom of the hole? I'd like to imagine he's still out there somewhere. Because, I mean, we didn't really kill him. Like, he fell down the hole himself. Like, that's the kind of death... That's the kind of end to a villain that's very much like, oh yeah, he's coming back eventually. Kihiro Mo Shrine. All right, what do you've got for us this time? More electric crap, I'm sure. All right. Inside the box. What's in the box? All right, more gyroscope shites. Holy crap, there's stuff in there. Okay, what am I supposed to do? There's a bunch of orbs, but I don't know what they're for. Okay, well... Oh, okay, they're for counting. Okay. Oh, man. These two are going to be hard for me, because they look almost practically the same to me. I might be slightly colorblind, but... Oh, my God. Okay, where are the orbs I need to place, then? Ah, oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, okay, there's a, okay, there, there's a pad, the pattern on them is also, okay. Alright, there's one, two, two of the ones that have the blobs on the end. Alright, so, the two, this, this one, which means that goes into number two. Whoops, no, no, uh, okay. I wanted to just drop it, not throw it. A, drop. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, let's see. Whoop. There's one, two, three with the stripes. Four. Yeah, four with the stripes. Okay. Uh, which is this one over here. And that one goes in here. Okay, now the two that are the hardest ones for me to see the difference in color wise. Alright, one with all the spots. Well, let me get this all sh shuffled. So I got one with spots. One with spots and it looks like two with the other. Alright, so one... One of one of these. And then it looked like two of this one. Hey, that was it. All right, cool. Now, if it's like the other one with a similar thing with counting the constellations, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So the magnetic one. I'm pretty sure there were three of those magnetic looking ones in there. So, where's the orb I throw in there? Um, does it matter what orb I throw in there? Um, hmm. Okay. There isn't. So do I just pick up any of these and throw it in there? That might not be ha might not happen because I'm pretty sure that would Oh, no, but it didn't close the gate. Uh, let me double check since I'm up here anyway, how many of those magnetic looking ones there are. Let's see, one, two, three, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that's three. Alright, so I, I'm hoping this is, one of these orbs is the right one. I wonder if it even matters. Oh! Oh, no, I thought I saw an orb there in the crack there. Okay, well, I'm hoping any of them work. And yoink. Oh, do I need to put all of them in there? 
Is that what this is about? All right, fine. That was one, two, three, and four. Uh, nothing. Uh, okay. Mmm, well, that wasn't at all the case, apparently. Okay. Um. Okay, well... I guess I don't know how this works. Do I have to stand in it too? Or did I miscount? Was it actually two? Nope. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Uh, one. Whoops, wrong direction. Okay, and four. I know there's more than one in there. All right, so what? I don't know. Okay, well, um, I don't see an orb to place in there, like a sp its own specific orb. I guess I just... Alright, well, I'm gonna skip it then. It's probably nothing worthwhile anyway. Alright, give me my third medallion. That's third? Yeah, third. My god, I've been recording for 27 minutes again already? Holy cow. I don't. Probably not a good thing to mention how long I've been recording every freaking episode, but, you know, whatever. Naboris' emblem number three! Woohoo! Alright. I think that means I need to go back to the, uh, yeah, to the Divine Beast. Cool! Alright, cool. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, let's talk to these guys. We talked about talked to them before, gotta talk to them again. They're probably like, why'd you throw it down there? Why, I can't see the bottom. You threw the precious treasure down below! What were you thinking? Uh, I was thinking I wanted that shrine to appear. Do you not see that? Can you not go in there yourself now that I've opened it? You're throwing away treasure. You do realize how wasteful that is, right? If you didn't want it, I would have been happy to take it off your hands. Thanks, but uh, I needed it for that shrine. And honestly, whatever's in that chest that I didn't get is more useful than that. Not to mention Naboris' emblem, which you can't use. So it doesn't matter. It's all useless to you. Okay, off to the Divine Beast. We're going to have to fight ben Thunder Blight Ganon, and he's the worst. All right, Divine Beast Vanaboris. All right, so, um, for, well, I'll set up, I'll get, well, no, let's do it now. Okay, oh, it's going to take away items, isn't it? Um, well, anyway, I'll set my bow... Yeah, that'll work for the bow. Um, ice arrows just for giggles. I'm thinking it's probably going to equip um, its own stuff. Um, now nah, we'll go with this because it's a lot easier to deal with. Uh, actually, equip the master sword to start. I'm thinking it's probably going to change all my weapons and stuff out anyway, but you know, we'll see. I'll change my gear when I get in there. Hopefully I can change my gear. I think I can change my gear. We'll find out. To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Naboris's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. 
Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Why am I talking like this? Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. That's the one thing I don't like about this game, is every single Divine Beast has to assume it's the first one because it's open world. I wish there was... Uh, they should have done something to check to where... Oh, is this your first one? Cool, we don't need to go through the tutorials. Like, it should be different depending on if it's your first or second or third, maybe even fourth Divine Beast. Or they could just be, hey, this is your first one, go through it all, the rest doesn't matter. I don't know. It's a whole other topic on this game. It's like, it's a good game. But I don't think it's a great Zelda game in the traditional sense. This illusory illus illusory realm will grant well, was created from the depths of your memories. I don't know how I did that voice again. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within you. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Sweet! Hi, Thunder Blight. You're the worst. I mean, the way he moves is pretty cool. But, uh, the fight just sucks. Alright. Oh. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Alright, you're not. Oh, 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 oh. Gear, gear, gear. Uh, okay. Why did I not equip the armor I wanted to equip? Because this is not the armor I wanted to equip. Break his guard. Alright. Well, okay. Nope, nope, you're not getting me that time. This time. Come on, target him. Back flipped out of that. Does that. Alright, this does this. Are my weapons invincible right now? Oh, I don't even have a bow. Okay, get out of here, get out of here. Alright, this is not going as bad as I thought it might. Come on, just target him, damn it. Alright. Okay, that worked, I guess. It's not how I wanted that to go, but... You know, whatever. I don't remember the second phase. Or maybe it's the second fight. Yeah, it's the second phase I remember. It's the first phase I don't remember. This is the one with all the spikes he throws down and stuff. Okay. Did it hit him? It hit him. And I got, like, next to no hits in on him. Okay, where'd it go? You dropped the daybreaker. Oh, it's letting it's making me use the uh, It's making me use the weapons from Whoa, okay. Yeah, Naboras' weapons and shit and stuff. Alright, this works. I wish I could have done it one more time. Okay. Where'd he go? One more hit. Yeah! Done! That was actually... Seemed a lot easier than I remember. It felt, it felt like the fight was a little bit different. I don't... I couldn't explain to you how, but yeah. So yeah, like, Breath of the Wild's a great game. But I don't... It feel... I feel like it's missing what makes a Zelda game a Zelda game. Um, I love the characterization of Zelda and Link to a lesser extent. But, I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite Zelda to me. Um, I'm what I'm hoping is they took this as to do something completely different to then go back to what 
everyone knows is the Zelda formula with a fresh view so they can take what makes a Zelda game a Zelda game previously and implement the stuff they learned in Breath of the Wild. Because, you know, if you, as a creative, you take something that, and you do something completely different, like, different, it helps in what you are supposed, like, in the way you're supposed to go. Like, I, I watched a lot of Tested and Adam Savage and stuff, and he said he had a gun he wanted to paint, but he had no idea what the color scheme should be. So he just painted it pinstripes or, uh, like a like, a candy cane. And afterwards, he's like, that's cool looking, but now I know exactly how this is supposed to work. And I'm hoping they're taking that philosophy back with, like, they, they did Breath of the Wild as something completely different. And now they can go back to a traditional style Zelda game and take what they learned from Breath of the Wild and implement it in a fresh new way. Because I think the way Breath of the Wild works would work well in a Zelda game, but it's almost, it's too open-ended. So... I'm hoping they, they take what they learned from Breath of the Wild and apply it to a more traditional Zelda. So that's my thoughts on Breath of the Wild, basically. After giving it like a year and a half to germinate. This is a perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts as well as perfecting the... Oh, as well as a perfect spot for me to write a song. Wondering around here and listening to antidotes about Champion Urbusa, Ur, 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 Urbosa. Uh, I'll, I'll be able to say her name correctly the first time one of these days has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. So yeah, these are unfinished songs. These are songs he's making up. So are the memories we're watching real memories? Uh, I mean, they're supposed to be, but th that, that throws doubt on the whole thing. This is why I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Vonnoboros, which Urbosa herself mastered. Hmm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Urbosa, the champion, I guess. Ow. Recall Naboris' champion of sand before she was lost to the land. Again, this feels like second grade rhyming here. Chief Urbosa's heart was strong. So the princess came along. Uh, to teach her strength of heart, I guess? I'll do better about not talking over cutscenes this time. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. She was the... Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon... I guess so. It seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. Sweet. <laughs> I thought that was crying for a second. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Obosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Little bird. Obosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Hmm? Halt and face me. <laughs> Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> it's probably not going to be very bad. <laughs> Such a shame the Giga clan people are... The, the grunts are awesome, but their leader is pretty bad. I guess that's a Japanese trope, but it's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> so... She can just harness you may keep your lives. electricity? Now go. I, I don't know. I feel like they tried too hard, but maybe not. I don't know. You asked me why I call you little bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever Who's graced her dear our friend? land of Hyrule. You mean mother? 
Uh. It was ten long years ago. Is that when she died? Your mother had just left this world. Yep. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Uh, not yet. Not at this point. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Oh wow, they're like right by Gerudo Town. I was expecting them to be a lot further away. I don't know. It felt like there were too many cliches in that little action sequence. <laughs> I couldn't get over it. It's like, it's cool, but it's kind of cliched at this point. Whatever. Though she was a fierce warrior, the Grito chief was also a loving friend to Hyrule's princess. So, what do you think of Champion Urbosa's song? Alright, pretty good. The fight seems cliche. Otherwise, kind of cool. I'm writing a song that honors the champ heart of Champion Urbosa. Urbosa. God damn, I will say that right the first time eventually. I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Uh, I feel much more confident than I can, that I can do those missing lyrics justice. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. Woo! You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Oh. It's moving. It moved. Huh. That was weird. It's kind of cool looking, I guess. Did the other one do that too? I should be... I should keep an eye out next time for the other one. Alright. Champion Urbosa's... Urbosa's... Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. All right. Well, next time. Oh man, I don't know. Do I do? Um, do I do? Uh, I want to say Falcon, but Falco, but it's not Falco. Do I want to do that one first, or do I want to do Mifa? I don't know which one I want to save for last. I almost want to save Mifa for last. I think I'm going to save Mifa for last. So next time we're going to Hebra and we're doing um, whatever the heck his name is. So thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I think there's one more weird upload video after this one or not. I don't know exactly. I haven't, again, I haven't left. Uh, if you like this one, leave it a like, uh, dislike, dislike, leave a comment letting me know when, uh, what vid, what times, what days you would like to see uploads on. Cause I know people like different days. Um, yeah, check out the two videos on screen. There's one that's recommend, one of my videos that's recommended for you. I think it's one of my videos. I got Breath of the Wild, the original playthrough. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification if that's a thing you have problems with to be sure to get notifications. And I will hopefully see you in the next video.